Personalized outreach delivers six times the results of non-personalized outreach. Now, have you ever thought about personalizing your emails with personalized images? You probably have, but it probably sounds like a lot of work. And then how do you personalize it at scale for every single lead you reach out to? Well, that's what we're going to look at today, how you can do exactly that from within Lemlist, creating customized images for every single lead so that you can book those all important 10 meetings per week. Now, what does it look like? Well, we're going to look at some examples just here. If we click on this campaign, this is a campaign using a personalized image. Now here, what we've done is we've used it in the breakup email or the last email that we've sent, whatever you want to call it. And with this one, what we've done is we've used it as kind of a jokey meme. So it's essentially this, it's, hey, first name, and this is where the first name will adjust for every single lead you reach out to. Patiently awaiting your reply, tell. What does that look like in real life? Well, when the person receives the email, what will happen is if I'm reaching out to someone called Ahmed, it will say, hey, Ahmed, patiently awaiting your reply. And that does it for every single lead. And all I have to do is edit the image once. Now, some other examples you might use. Here's another meme example here. The back of the TV, company name. So here's one using the company name variable, having too many leads. So again, however you want to do it, there's lots of different examples you can use. There's also one like this here, build your personal brand first name. And it's a picture of me pointing exactly to their first name. Now, is every single person going to reply nowadays? Is every single person going to actually respond? No. But does it make you seem a bit more creative? Does it make you a little bit more real? It does. Why is that important? Well, people are more likely to reply to people that they identify with, people that make them laugh maybe, and then you get your reply. So how do you create images like this yourself? Let's take a look here. All you need to do is go over to templates and then click on images. Nice and easy so far. And to make this one, let's just do an easy example. What you can do is you can take this image, you need to import the image and you just need to add a few bits of text. So what we do here is we go on create new template. Then we click on add element. We select image and then here we can increase the size of the image, upload the image here. We go and find the image that we want and we click on it here. What does that do? We have our image imported already. There you go, add it there so it fits nicely. Then we need to add a little bit of text. So let's add some meme text in this example, but you can add also image variables. You can add logos if you want to add a company's logo. If you want to add a particular photo, you can do that as well. When you import leads with Lemlist and you scrape them from LinkedIn, what you can do is you also scrape the photo URL as well. So if you put photo in this particular section and you have imported using Lemlist Chrome extension, you can in bulk use the custom variable photo and it will adjust to every single lead within this image section. But this particular example though, you can have a play around with yourself. Let's do meme text and there we go. We've got the meme text. So for this one, we want to add back of the TV, put that on this side, add another element. And then we want to have this as the answer here, having too many leads. And then we have one more and this is the magic one. So here's where we add the custom variable, whatever we like. Now, in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to have company name, for example, and we can put that one just over here. Let's make it all a little bit smaller. So it all looks nice and neat. There you go. Luckily, it's nice and easy to edit. And we make sure that we add it a name. If we click on settings here, we can go over here and we can rename it. Let's say custom image test and then we should be good to click down here and save click on save image template saved Yippee. back to template so that we can test custom image test there you go completed didn't take long at all so pretty easy wasn't it didn't need a degree in figma or anything like that now what does it look like when you insert it into a campaign let's go and create a new campaign lead list info over here let's import nice and easy with a csv continue make sure everything's mapped very nicely yeah, make sure domain's all good. Click continue and import those leads. There's our leads in here. What we can do is we can enrich them to make sure that we've got all of the verified email addresses as well. Whilst that's working, we can go and create our sequence. Let's create it manually, create an email step, keep it nice and simple. Just to show you the theory, let's go, hi, first name, looking for leads. I bet you are. Here's a way to import 2,500 leads at a time. Hope it's useful. Signature, PS, hope you like the meme. Then here's where we come down and add it in, add personalization, custom images. We want to add custom image test. There it is. And then we add this one here. Let's make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Resize down a little bit. So it looks a little bit more manageable. Just like that. Very nice. What we're going to do is we're going to link this video in here, add it into our email and put the subject line as lead gen, something nice and simple. Now let's go over to the review section and see what it looks like. Here we are. We've got our leads. We've got Charles, Guillaume, Kevin, Lucas, and me. What happens when we scroll down to the image? We have our email here and we have the company name filled in uniquely for every single one because we added the custom variable. So it means that whatever you have here in the company name section, in this case, it's Lemlist, it will auto fill it in there for you. You don't have to do it one by one. Same here with Lucas. Lucas has Lemstack because Lucas, when we imported the data, we had it as Lemstack. Now, just to show you what I mean by that, when I say imported the data, I imported it via a CSV. It works exactly the same if you import using Lemlist's internal database. It will scrape that data for you. It will find the data for company name. Here, though, in this case, I imported it with a CSV. Company name is written there for every single person. You can see it lines up to the, each different person. Tal, company name Lemlist, Kevin, Lemwarm, 
Lucas here has Lemstack. And that's why when you come back here, the company name information here is Lemstack. And that's what we have in the custom image. And that's it. There you go. That's how you can very simply personalize an image. Of course, there's a million different ways that you can play around with it. You can use different variables. You can use different data points. The end goal is to make yourself look as human as possible. Maybe you want to get creative and make them laugh, but ultimately you're trying to test what works. You can A-B test what works as well to see what gets you the most positive replies. Go ahead and check out all the other videos on this channel for different tips to improve your prospecting, improve your campaigns, improve your copywriting. If you want to try Lemnist for free and create your own custom images just like this, click the link in the description down below.